Hey guys, Garrett here. If you're thinking of building a new house, now is the best time there's ever been for doing ICF. And why is that? Lumber prices are just through the roof right at the moment. Why are lumber prices so high right now? It's because of soaring demand. There are more new housing starts going on now than there has been in a long, long time. Demand is huge. And of course, that makes the lumber prices go up. The virus didn't help anything either. That definitely hurt supply a little bit, but it's mainly due to that increased demand. If you've been researching different building methods, specifically ICF versus traditional framing, you're going to see lots of percentages thrown around as to what the cost difference is between the two. And the general consensus is ICF costs 5 to 10% more on the total for the house. But if you're to break it down to just those walls being built with ICF, just the exterior walls, the increase from say a two by six constructed house to an ICF house for just those wall segments would be about two to two and a half times more expensive. But again, when you quantify this, it only adds five to 10% to the entire cost of the house. Well, that's how it was when the lumber prices were normal. At the time I was building my house, a two by four by eight, just non-treated wood was $2.86. Now it is $6.58, which is an increase of 230%. Well, if we're comparing an ICF house to a two by six house, let's look at a two by six. So assuming a 10 foot tall wall, when I was building a two by six by 10 costs five dollars and 63 cents. That's what it actually cost me. Now it costs thirteen dollars and 98 cents which is a 248% increase. OSB is no exception. 7 16 OSB for a four by eight sheet was $14 and 11 cents and then now $33.05, which is an increase of 234%. Insulation costs are up about 10% from when I built. Concrete costs for when I built was $100 per yard. Now it's about $115 per yard, so it's a 15% increase. Uh, rebar is actually exactly the same from the time that I built and ICF blocks have gone up by about 15%. So if you take that same two by six wall structure and compare it to the ICF wall structure now in today's lumber prices, they're gonna be very close to the same. And it's obvious which one is going to be better. If you're wondering, I made a video about the realities of ICF. I love it. I don't have any stock in any ICF company. I just think it's a great product. Plus the house is a lot more comfortable and consistent. It's a heck of a lot stronger and it's not gonna rot from underneath you. You can also build your floor deck if you have a deck between your basement and your main level. You can build that with ICF as well, as well as your roof. I don't know a ton about those other than they had to be very well supported and that's my big beef with it right now. Lumber prices are so so incredibly high and from the research that I've seen you have to have support walls every four feet going along it to support the weight of it until it fully cures out. Well, you're not gonna need that much lumber whenever you're building your interior walls of your house. So you're going to have, at least in my opinion, a whole bunch of waste that's pretty darn expensive. So I'm on the fence whether those two options would be better than what traditionally would be had with trusses and of course OSB, that sort of thing. Plus, if you're building an ICF roof, you have concrete roof, it's not gonna be as aesthetically pleasing either. But from a strength standpoint, it has a lot of great benefits. But regardless, I definitely think all of the exterior walls should be ICF. You will not regret that decision. So if you're evaluating your options, you're always gonna look at cost, but you have to look at the other benefits as well. Well, the fact that the two are about the same cost and ICF benefits far outweigh that of stick frame, it's a no-brainer. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button down below as well as subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.